kids, I have a question for you. What is your favorite sports team? Is it the Bears? The Bulls? Don't forget about those Blackhawks. No matter what team is your favorite, being a part of God's team is the very best. In this series, we will hear all about what it means to be a part of God's team and how when all of us work together, amazing things can happen. We are going to have fun together playing games, learning more about God's word, and that being on God's team is a game changer. That's it, I'm done. That was the worst game ever. I couldn't catch, I couldn't throw, I couldn't even hit. I quit. What? No way, man. I mean, come on. Your parents named you Homer. You were basically born to play baseball. Did you hear some of the players on the other team? They were making up all kinds of junk about me. Like I was only playing so I could be team captain. What a lie. I just love baseball, hey, man. I know, man. I know. Just listen, Homer. Haters are gonna hate. Don't pay attention to those guys. Whatever you do, don't quit. You know something, Hoops? You're right. I can't quit now, no matter what people are trying to do. It kind of reminds me of the story of Nehemiah. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course, with like the wall and the people and things. Just check this out. There was once a guy named Nehemiah. He lived in Babylon and worked as the king's helper. One day, a man from his hometown of Jerusalem came to see him. He had terrible news to share with Nehemiah. The wall surrounding Jerusalem, the one that protected them from enemy attacks, was in bad shape and they needed his help. Nehemiah knew what he had to do, so he asked permission from the king to travel back to his home and help rebuild the wall. The king told him that he was good to go, so he packed up and went on his way. When Nehemiah arrived, he saw that the wall was in crumbles and that the people of Jerusalem were upset and scared. Nehemiah was glad he came to help, but knew he couldn't rebuild the wall alone. He encouraged everyone to work as a team to rebuild the wall together. Nehemiah's team helped and worked hard, doing their part. But Jerusalem's enemies were not happy about this teamwork. They came up with a plan to stop this rebuild from happening and sent Nehemiah a message, asking if they could talk to him. Nehemiah didn't want to quit, so he sent them back a message saying, Sorry guys, I'd love to sit and chat, but I'm super busy working with my team to rebuild this wall. Maybe next time. Those guys just wouldn't give up and sent Nehemiah five more messages and even threatened to spread lies about him. But each time, Nehemiah replied the same way, letting them know that there was no way he was going to quit rebuilding the wall. His enemies realized this back and forth message thing wasn't going to work. This time, they hired a guy to try to convince Nehemiah to stop rebuilding the wall. He told Nehemiah that people were trying to kill him and that the only way he would be safe was to go to the temple with him. Nehemiah realized that this guy had been sent by his enemies to scare him. Instead of giving up, Nehemiah kept working and praying to God. He also encouraged the rest of his team to do the same. Soon enough, the wall was finished, and in a record time, only 52 days. Things were tough for Nehemiah and his team, but they never quit. Instead, they worked together, and Jerusalem was again safe from their enemies. On God's team, players don't quit. Welcome to Trick Shots. The double bounce back shot. Yeah! <laughs> this is the backwards foul shot. This is the double table shot. Half-court Pringle shot. <laughs> this is the B-Ball Swisher. <laughs> this is rooftop magic. Do 
You can do it, Homo! Go
something good 